in today's video, we are doing three TPT store audits. Ah, stay tuned. Hello everyone. My name is Laurieanne and if you are new to this channel or returning, welcome here at It's All Primary. Teach your side, hustles, and yes, got a little bit ambitious and decided to do three TPT store audits and we'll talk about them in just a minute. But I just wanted to say if you did not see on the community tab, we're monetized! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so it's so surreal still. I mean, I keep thinking, am I forgetting to do something? Like, I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Uh, but yes, thank you again. Many of you watch the videos multiple times. It helps me a lot. A lot. And I'm still working on these ads. Uh, I think I've got some of them figured out, but when I turned on the ads, I didn't look carefully as to what kind of ads were going to pop up. So you may see these banner ads along the bottom. You may see ads along the side. You may see, uh, you know, something mid beginning. And one of the things that I tried to do is I, in particularly the, the latest 20 videos, I think, you, you should see a couple ads at the beginning, a couple ads at the end, and if the video is more than 25 minutes, I just, that was just a number I picked. I put a mid ad, but some of the shorter videos, I took out the mid ads. I don't know. I <laughs> Understanding Google ads uh, is, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And again, thank you. I read polls and the latest poll on teachers back to school is now 50-50. So 50% are in, 50% are not. That's unusual for this time of year. Again, this is going to be an unusual year. Your sales be, may be unusual this year. It, they were unusual last year. I think a lot of people overbought because they didn't know what they needed. So I, I think maybe last year's sales could have been inflated. Don't know. We'll see. My August sales have passed last year, last August sales, but I had very few sales last August, so that was easy. <laughs> I I think I got one sale or two sales this past week. What I'm really looking at is views. What are people looking at? That's your most important data, and and this video today is one of two. So we're going to do a two-parter here. I could have actually done this in four videos and had each TPT store in its own video because I did not realize that over all of the videos, when I've already, uh, I've already uh, made the videos, they were all over 20 minutes. One was over 25 minutes. I was like, eek. <laughs> I thought they'd be like 10. So I'm editing right now. I'm going to shorten them down. Similar issues in some of them, but... I'm going to keep them together and and by keeping them together maybe you will start to notice the things to fix as well. You know, listen along what I'm what I look for at with the store and then see if you can notice similar things in the second and the third stores. They are all great looking stores, all of them. So I you know, sometimes I had to nitpick a little bit. So uh I don't I don't when I'm criticizing things, I'm, it's constructive criticism. So I love you. <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you or hurt you or anything like that. But the stores overall are beautiful. They're, they're really well done. And considering, you know, a couple of them are brand new stores or newer stores, they're great. So we're going to get started on that right away. Because again, I've tried to keep them down. I, I've got... One down to a little over 10 minutes and the other ones are just over 10 minutes. So it's going to be a long video. Let's just get going on this. Let me turn the camera around. A store that is more than a couple of years old. And this is Little Library of Learning. What I do is when I look at the store at the beginning, I just look at, I just take a scroll through and see how I like the look of it. 
Okay, so 145 products is a good amount. One of the things that I see right away is there's consistency through um, having this blue border and it is easy to read the main words. These words here are very hard to read on the side, but for the most part, the research packets, the science bundle, these words are very clear. Boom cards, flags of the world, very easy to read. You want to look at your product covers in the small squares, not when it opens up big like this. You want to see how much you can read when it is this small because a high percentage of buyers buy with their phone. So it's not going to get much bigger than that. So you want to make sure that the biggest, most important things you want to say on that cover are readable. And this research package is excellent. Love that. Science bundle, great. Like I said, these things on the side are harder to read. You might want to just leave them off and put them on a thumbnail. But this one, very clear. Like I said, can't read the little stuff on the side there. But boom cards, flags of the world, excellent. One of the things I'm also noticing is that the logo is in the corner, in the corner, in the corner, in the corner, in the corner. So it's in the same spot. Don't let your covers, uh, sorry, your logo take too much real estate on your picture. Think about what do you want the buyer to see first. And these images that she has put on here are nice and big, great, okay, and the wording up here is excellent. That's what I'm attracted to first, my eyes. I don't want to see the logo first. I want to see either the words or the image first. That's what buyers are looking for when they're scrolling. I like how these are framed in a tech, you know, piece of technology. That is great. Okay. So I, other than a few little wordings on the sides here probably can be removed and made, then this can be made bigger. They look great. Yeah, really well done. But I like the consistency of having you know, the plain white. You don't want to have too many colors, too many fonts. Keep it consistent. You want people to be able to recognize your stuff just by looking at the cover. Okay, so this is great. Okay, and you got another flags. Um, I was just looking for bundles. You've got a bundle here. You got a couple of flags of the world. Do you have a bundle for that? Bundles are hard with pictures because they're so hard, you know, when you, you're trying to show everyone that you've got, you know, this many resources joined together and it's hard to see the images. It's, it's a tricky one. I struggle with it myself. Sometimes when it's just two, it's fine. And this looks great. But when it's this many, I, I have the same thing. I have the same issue with a couple of mine. But you've got bundles. That's excellent. Yeah, no, these look good. I like that this moves. You've got a couple images happening here, and you've got something written here. Follow my blog, that's great. And then you've got down below here something as well. So utilize these little pieces of billboards, so that's great. Looks good. So here is your best seller. So let's just take a pop into here. And one of the things that I'm looking for when I look at a product is first of all the title. Is this title searchable like art is that what people are looking for so if i cut go in here will i find guess the animal yes i will and it's right there powerpoint game is probably quite popular too so you've got some good keywords in your title excellent good work actually no powerpoint game is games is whoops it's powerpoint no it's under sellers interesting guess the animal is searched so that's great. One of the biggest, again, pieces of real estate is this your description right here. You want to have three good sentences about your product and how it will serve the potential buyer. So you've got here, do you love to play guessing games? Do you know a lot of facts about different animals? This guess your animal PowerPoint game, just what you're looking for. Okay, so this is great. One of the things that I would suggest you do is probably make more bullet points, maybe just change up. Everything's going left to right. Maybe you wanna make a little list, whether it be with this or make some bullet points, just again, 
to change up what buyers are seeing. The other thing is, so you've got this little break here. I would be putting some of this stuff a little bit higher up, but you've got a link for feedback. That's good. This is a link and this is the same link. Are these the same links? Yeah, you might not want to have both of them. I would probably get rid of this one and just use this one, but I would put some sort of icons beside them just so they stand out, but it looks good. You've got, you've utilized your three, thank you. Okay, and then you've got a preview video. One of the things that I've heard is that many people do not listen to the sound, so don't feel like any pressure to um, give a whole narration with your preview videos. One of the things that you might want to do besides just showing the product is maybe having a thumbnail explaining what the teacher might need to do. Do they need to show this in presentation mode, right? Maybe some different aspects of how it could be used in the classroom. Okay, something like that, but it, your product is cute. I like it. Yeah, well done. Okay, let me go back to your store. You've got custom categories. That looks good. One of the things you might want to do is highlight either bundles or highlight your flagship product if you have one. All you would do is just change this icon and it should go up to the top. Okay, some icons will bring things up to the top. One of the things I used was a dollar sign and then that moved my bundles up to the top. That might be something you want to do. Some people like these in alphabetical order. I was told a year ago, put a couple of the ones that you want to be noticed first, which would be the bundles or your higher priced activities. By the way, smart board is a trademarked item, uh, word. So I saw that actually here. So you got smart board, you should have a TM. I had to do this last winter and Google Slides is a TM. So make sure you've got your trademark words. Black History Month might be, even be trademarked. I'm not sure about that, okay? But watch your words that are trademarked. Boom cards are trademarked, but you've got boom card. So it's not quite a Dewey, Dewey clip cards. I'm not sure. That's something you might want to take a look at is finding out what words are trademarked, but definitely Smart Board is trademarked. Google Slides is trademarked. Boom cards are trademarked. You've got a trademark there. Good. All right. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your download. So I'm just going to download your product. So what I'm looking for when I download this is that you've got a terms of use. You've got credits to your clip art. And there's nothing in there that I can. Um, I would clearly label this a terms of use. It looks like that's what it is. You have cited cute graphics. These are all linked. That looks good. No, I can't click on there. That's good. Yeah, I would just probably label this clearly as a terms of use and you've got your credits. Yeah, I would just put labels so people see that terms of use, you know, credits or something like that. It's it's a little bit not as re not required if you've only used one clip art and you've got it there and you've got a link to them, which is great. Looks good. It's very cute. Okay. So I think your store looks great. Um, by looking at it, oops, let me just go back to your store for a second. Just glancing at your best sellers, it looks like your PowerPoint, your smart board activities seem to be your biggest sellers and you've got them highlighted here as well. What you might wanna do here with your featured items is to have one or two of them as your newest products just to highlight them because quite often when a buyer looks at your store this is usually defaulted to best sellers so they're not going to see your newest product so if you put a couple of these box one or two of these boxes as your newest 
and then your best sellers or you know, uh, even uh, your bundles. You could highlight your bundles up here. That would be great too. For those of you who are watching this and if you see something, please put it down in the comments below. Make sure that you are answering your all your reviews. So I see a couple here that were just recent. So you just want to make sure all your reviews are commented on. Good or bad, comment on them. And those are answered. Excellent. And you've got information there. Terrific. Yeah, no, I think your store looks great. Okay. The next store we're going to look at is Kimberly's Classroom. And this store is between one and two years old. I love the brightness. Looks great. All the bright colors. Overall, I like that. It's upbeat. You've got 126 products. That's great. What you want to maybe want to do is either, again, keep these. It's interesting how bingo is above back to school if this was alphabetical order because that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Unless it's the uppercase that does that. But again, I might put bundles at the top. And you can also put icons, HTML icons beside these. Again, just make them stick out. You've got custom categories, it's great. So you've got a lot of different covers, not as consistent, but uh, one of the things that I remember you said to me is that you're in the process of changing things over. One of the things I would recommend as you change things over is to put the icon, your logo, in the same spot. And I like that it's relatively small. Don't give it too much real estate again. Yeah, I would if either keep it to the left. Um, that you could probably bring it down smaller. Again, try and keep it about the same size. You don't have to fill the whole page. Um, some of your covers are very busy and I don't know where to look and that's something you have to consider. You don't necessarily have to have pre-K, K and grade one on this because I want to actually see that image in the middle there and you're you're covering it up with your logo on one side and you got these on the other. I just clean that up a little bit when you rebrand this. I like your top. It's easy to read. It's colorful. That might be something you might want to stick with as far as your colors. But again, one or two images. This is clip art, so that's a little bit different. Again, you don't have to fill every square inch of your cover. Less is usually more. With bundles, it's a little bit trickier. I wouldn't be putting in all these extra words and things and these circles only because it, again, it takes away from where you want the eyes to go, okay? With this one, I would probably not do all four of them. I would probably do one or two. And again, these these little things here that you have with the cut and laminate uses charts or flashcards, they're great. I would put that on a thumbnail. What people want to see is the product. So don't overcomplicate the cover with too many things. As good as they look, often it's what they want to see the product in action if possible. Okay, so that would be my suggestion with that. But you've got, like I said, I really like the colors. I like this I like this um, color scheme that you've got on some of them. Uh, you know, that's very consistent and it's bright. So with your bestseller, it's cool that it's a bundle. That's excellent that your bundle is a bestseller. Now, just a comment here. When it comes to titles, the algorithm does not like parentheses, obliques, things like that. They are accepting of a dash, but that's about it. You've already got all of this right there. And you've got it, you've got it everywhere, so you don't need to put it everywhere. <laughs> and you've got this is digital, which is great. It's fun filled. And you've got the trademark. You should have a trademark for boom cards up here. Your product description looks great. You've got what it includes. Excellent. Your decks, they will if this is a oh, this is a boom card deck. Okay. So this is a deck directly from boom cards. I was gonna say if this was a TPT bundle, these would all show up. Normally, the recommendation is not to link more than about five or six products because, again, most people will not read it all. So it just save you time. But I see what you're doing here. I like this one here. I would even put an icon here just to make things stand out. With um, what teachers are saying, it, it's always great to add reviews, but I wouldn't add more than two 
or three. I've got a lot here. And again, people are not going to get to the bottom of your uh, write-up if you've got too much stuff happening up here. And this is all good down here. I like this top. I'm not sure if that's what you're going to rebrand. Okay, let's go on to back to your store for a minute. Let me uh, look. just look at a, a regular product. So you've got bundles here. That's great. Back to school. Excellent because it's back to school time. Another bundle. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so you got bundles, bundles, bundles. Oh, actually, I know why that's... No, it's not. Cool that your bundles are best sellers. Worksheet bundle. Okay, let's look at this product. One of the things that I would do with thumbnails is write things that they, a teacher could do with these. Whether they could be used for math centers, whether you can actually use them online activities, what would you do with them? Are these, uh, are these colors, how would these colors look if this was printed out in black and white, by the way? Because that would be something I would be concerned about. So that's something else you want to check because most teachers will print things in black and white. And how would that look? You might even want to offer, this is only four pages. You might even want to offer this in black and white as well as an, you know, as part of this package. Just a stickler here. Be careful about fonts when you're working with kindergarten, grade one and two, that the one and the seven look really close. Right? That almost that looks like 70, 75. You want to make sure you use fonts that are super easy for five and six year olds. You know, when you get into the older grades, they're fine, but younger grades have a very easy to read font. But this is good. Yeah, see, and this one is short, but it's to the point. And I like how you got bullet points right here. That is great. Get an advanced surgery review, that's excellent. Any Q and A's? Whoops, where'd your thing go? No, okay. All right, let me go to your uh, freebie. And I like how this is changing. That looks great. Again, I like the colors. It looks good. Oh, this is a zip. Okay, one second, I'll just open this up. Okay, let's open up your terms of use first. Oops, let's move this over. Bullet points are good, but you don't want to have too big of a paragraph with each bullet point. Again, people won't read them. Try and keep them a sentence when you're using bullet points. But I like how you have bolded keywords. That's great. And we've got links. Great. Leave a review. Excellent. Connect. Yep. Yeah. Um, this logo is incredibly large. Probably what I would have done is maybe make it half the page and use the other half. Again, you've got real estate here, so you want to be able to uh, utilize that. Maybe advertise another product that is similar to this one. Say, like this product, then you will love this product. All right, let me get out of this and move to... Let me open that back up. Okay. So one of the things that um, I do like about this is the size of the task cards. They're quite large. Actually, I've got this on big. Let me move this down to 100%. So is this two on a page? It looks like it might be two on a page. Actually, let me just break it up and then I know fit one full page. There we go. Yeah, it's two on a page. Yeah, these are cute. One of the things I would, again, going back to your uh, terms of use, do you have another product that's bigger than that one that you could say, hey, like this one, hey, then you will really enjoy this mega size one or something like that. But yeah, again, I like the bright colors. I like these thumbnails here. With a freebie, you don't get to put a preview video on it, so that's not a problem. But I, I like how you've done these and they... You've got it looking real. You've got a background, you've got a hand. People love this. And you've got 37 downloads. I'm surprised. 
I think you should have more than that. Letter counting should, oh, see, letter counting doesn't come up in search at all. Um, let's look at clip card. So you got clip card activity, clip card. Oh, there, clip cards showed up. Okay, actually, let's click it and see how what the suggestions are. 140,000. Yikes. Oui, that's a lot. Okay, let's do task cards. It's probably more. I know they're clip cards. You're right. Yeah, 590,000. Ugh, it's a huge one. It's a shame because it's a really cute product. You should have more eyes on it, but you're competing with a lot because it should, it's, it's very cute. You should definitely have more eyes on that, more downloads. I would consider changing the wording on that title. You could probably start it with clip cards, not clip card. Uh, let's, wait a second, let's see if clip card activity, see, it doesn't come up. So I would use clip cards and then say counting and actually let's just see counting letters counting no that doesn't show up if you get another idea for something to put in this title to make it keyword rich pop it down in the comments below but that's i would be playing with the title of that one kimberly because it's like i said it's a cute looking product and hey i might even use it <laughs> it's cute yeah or i might even let a kindergarten teacher know, but yeah, that it needs, it should have more eyes on it. Okay. Is there anything else? Let me just take a quick look at your store again that I wanted to say. Get rid of this to be added. If you're not going to use it, all you have to do is when you go into your profile, just click the space bar and it will remove that. Okay. But other than that, Kimberly, great looking store. Like I said, I know you're in the process of changing the branding. Changing branding was a question that came up a few, couple few months ago. Everyone does it. I just wouldn't do it every year. You know, you can do it every couple of years, but try not to do it too often. I mean, even now I'm I'm tweaking my font pairings, right? I want to, and so you'll start to see some of my own my products that you'll see a, a script, a very readable script with a bold font because I wanted to just change things a tiny bit. So I'm making little tweaks, but I wouldn't be making major tweaks every year. You won't be able to keep up with the demand, you know, because Kimberly's got here 126 products. That's a lot to try and rebrand. I wouldn't try and do it in a month. <laughs> Anyways, Our TPT store is Speech It Simple. This is less than a year old and um, lots of activity already, which is terrific. 46 products, great start. Uh, lots of sales, well done. And just glancing at the covers, I like how you have a bar at the top and the bar at the bottom. I would just recommend keeping the colors consistent. Um, the fuchsia almost stands out better than the purple. Then it uh, matches your logo. So I don't know whether you want to do keep with that one or... I mean, you got more that are purple and teal. I like purple and teal actually as colors. Mind you, I like that fuchsia color there too. So that might work too. Anyways, yeah, I would probably just make more covers of the same colors. And I would probably decrease the size of your logo on some of these. Some of them you've got them over the bar and some of them you got them in the bar. I'd probably go in the bar. You don't want your logo to be too big because you don't want it to detract from what you want the buyer to look at. You want them to look at that stuff in the middle. Um, this one in particular, there's a lot of stuff there. It's hard to see them all. Again, people aren't looking at this big image. They're looking at this small image and they won't be able to see if it would be better to have two or three things as opposed to all of them, because if they're interested in the two or three, they'll click and then you can show the rest of them. But yeah, I would make the logo a little bit smaller on some of these. Your decor is very nice. But again, I wouldn't put um, so many on the same page because they won't be able to see them. Like this, 
nice and clear, easy. I like how you got the hand. Excellent. And there's another hand there. That's great. We People love that. Your logo is a little bit hard to read. I like the font, but the font isn't, like I said, when it's smaller, it's, it's, it's hard to read simple. Almost looks like a U. Anyways, that's, yeah, that's, I'm not going to make you change a, a logo. All right, let's look in your bestseller here. Oh, actually, something I've noticed right off the top here is you're missing your featured products section. It should be right here above my products. It's, it goes underneath this banner and above my products. And what you do is you go up to your product listings. I'll show you mine. So let me go to my product listings. And you're going to go to quick edit right here. So if I click on there, here is featured product. So right now I can't add this as a featured product because I'm already using all four spaces. But that's how you get your featured products. And you had shared in the your application that um, your speech ado, speech I do products are your flagships. So I would definitely feature at least two of them right here. I tend to feature a bundle or two whatever seasonal but what's on trend at that time and something new that I want to highlight because for some buyers it's defaults to best sellers so if you just uploaded something they're not going to see it right they're seeing your best sellers which is great because maybe that's what they were looking for but some may not notice that okay let's just take a quick look ratings they're good and answered. Excellent. Ask a question. Answered. Profile. Looks good. I would get rid of this yet to be added. And all you need to do is when you go into your profile, go to this spot where it says honors, whatever, and just click your space bar. And that should get rid of that yet to be added. But other than that, those are your tabs are great. Let's look at your bestseller. Now, I am not a speech and language teacher at all. So this language here would not, I mean, I understand sentence building and things like that, but spin a sentence. I checked that in the um, search and it didn't come up, right? So let me tell you, show you here, spin a sentence. But there are 7,000 results for it. <laughs> and here you are, right on the first page. Isn't that cool? Spin and build, spin and build. Must That might be popular for speech and language teachers. So it should show up actually in the, in the search if, if it's that popular. 7,000 results sounds reasonable. And the fact that it's getting so many sales is terrific. I know WH questions is in the search. Uh, digital interactive sentence building is not, but again, digital interactive sentence, they're, they're in there, just not necessarily together. So when you are, let me just click on here, your title has a couple um, icon, um, not icon symbols, this colon and the and symbol I hear from TPT that they don't like the algorithm doesn't like those sort of things. They only like the hyphen and they like the plumber's bar or whatever it's called. I can't remember. But again, nice and clear your image and everything here. Um, on your thumbnails, instead of just creating a thumbnail like this, I would in this space right here put how a teacher could use this. Just one sentence, maybe on each one or two bullet points, something like that. Hi everybody, this is Bethany from Speech It Simple and I just wanted to give you a quick run through of my spin. One of the things that they said during the TPT conference is that people do not tend to listen to the sound. They just play it and mute it. So you don't want to rely on your narration to explain your product. That's why take these thumbnails and explain the product in a, in a like I said, in a bullet point or a sentence or two on each of these. But I like how you've bolded keywords here. That looks great. Follow Instagram. You can also highlight another product that if you like this one, check this one out or 
related products that may interest you and you could put a link or two to some other products that are similar to this one but again looks good okay let's go to your freebie and I've already looked at this and I've downloaded it already this is a set of boom cards woohoo <laughs> Yeah, this is cute. Is your boom cards only three pages? Or is it just three pages you're providing here? Anyways, this is what I was talking about earlier. You need, there are, like, boom has got, these are required, these comments. And uh, you can't, you can't, it's hard to get around them. And people, most people won't read them, but we are required. If you, if you sell boom cards on TPT, you're required to copy and paste these from boom here in TPT. But one of the things you could also do at the end of this is put in your information just like you would in a regular product. Remember for many people your freebie is what's going to introduce you to your potential audience. So you want to give them information here. If you've got a bigger boom deck you might want to say like this one then check out this one. Right? You want to put all those different things in your product description. But yeah, cute product. For a, a new store under a year, I think you've you're off to a great start. I'm, you know, I, like I said, you've got some excellent sales. I mean, and and I mean these aren't even your real sales. These are your ratings. Right? And for some people, they get barely a third people write reviews so you've got a it looks great i'm gonna to have to check these ones spin a sentence are these powerpoint games I, I would I, if it's a powerpoint game i'd also write that too i actually i think i saw you write that in your one of your comments that it requires powerpoint and that would be something if this requires powerpoint i would put it actually in the thumbnail requires powerpoint because people might not get all the way down to here to see that or you could have it in part of your title PowerPoint game or in even in this top part here PowerPoint game or something like that and uh, just one thing I said other things I remembered boom cards are trademarked so you want to make sure you've got a TM in this sentence if speech should do or uh, green screen speech. I don't know if any of these are trademarked or not. Boom cards. There you go. Boom cards. You want to make sure that you've got your little TM on them in your title. But yeah, great job. What did you think? Please put comments down below if you saw things that uh, you wanted to say. If you thought something was impressive or something you thought might need tweaking. Make comments down below. I'm sure that the the owners of those stores would appreciate it. And this again is a good time to be auditing your own store, which is the upcoming video on Tuesday. I'm actually going to film it right after this video because it's, it's kind of in the same topic. And I just thought, let's just do them both at the same time. Sometimes I do videos together. you my shirt won't change. <laughs> is it wrink still wrinkly? It's wrinkly in this one side. Anyways, anyways, so the upcoming video for Tuesday is part two. So what I've done, those of you who applied and didn't get picked, your stores are not going unseen. I looked, I think I've looked at almost all of them. I'll probably look at a couple more stores because I haven't done the audit part of it, the video, the second video yet. But they're great stores. And so what I've done is I've taken screenshot. I'm going to be taking screenshots of maybe a product or something and highlighting them so your store could still show up in the second video and then we're going to do we're also going to do tpt data what to be looking for how to do your data there's things you got to tweak you can't just look at the number for example in your views or even in your your conversions without you've got to tweak things because tpt keeps putting certain things in the mix and i'm like <laughs> so I'll show you how to fix those little things. And you got to fix them every time. But at least you'll know that the numbers are a little bit skewed and how to unskew them a bit. 
So that'll be Tuesday's video. And then I've had a couple requests for beginner stuff. And I am happy to do that. I find that a lot of people who watch this channel are new, newer to TPT and boom. So I don't mind making some newer things. So I'm going to be doing a, um, I don't know if it's going to be on next Saturday or not, but it's planned anyways, is the PowerPoint tips. And I'm also been asked about a Pinterest tips for beginners. So I did one over a year ago. So I don't mind doing another one about that. So those are the next couple videos coming. And I think there was another one and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a wonderful day and weekend. If you're watching this on the weekend, take care of yourself, take care of your family and friends, and we'll catch you in the next videos. See ya.